Today we're going to be making this beautiful rose hair bow. These are absolutely gorgeous and they're very easy to make. So let's get started. Hi guys, today we're going to make a Kanzashi rose. It's a very simple rose to do. It's um, good for beginners, definitely. We're going to start out with some satin ribbon. It's 1.5 inch, some felt pieces. I use two felt squares, an alligator clip for holding your ribbon in place, lighter, tea light candle, needle and thread, and a French clip for the backing as well as your hot glue gun. Okay. First thing that we need to do, I'm just going to clear my workspace here a little bit, is we need to cut our ribbons and then seal the ends and go ahead and thread our needle. Okay, so I'm going to do that now. Okay guys, I've got my needle threaded and now we're going to be cutting our ribbon. We need four inch strips of this one and a half inch satin ribbon, so get your ruler out and go ahead and cut 19 pieces okay we need 19 of these so go ahead and do that now and I'll show you how to seal the ends when all the pieces are cut okay we're back and I've got all my ribbons cut and now we are going to seal the ends uh, this is where your candle comes in you're gonna go ahead and light your candle I use the candle so when we seal the ends you don't have to keep using your lighter over and over and hurting your fingers. So what you're going to do is when it's curved up um, you're going to put it into the, I, I curve it up so that it doesn't get into the wax and you want it to go down where it's blue and just run it across really quick. If you do it in the top part of the flame then um, it could leave black marks on your ribbon and it won't melt as, as well. So you just need to really quickly go across there, just just right touching the blue part of the flame, and that'll seal your ends so that they won't fray. See, they won't fray now. So let's go ahead and seal the rest of our ends of your ribbons, and um, I'll go ahead and do the rest of mine. Okay, I'm back. All of my ribbons are now cut and sealed. All the ends are sealed, and I'm just tying a nice good knot on the end of my thread right now so it's ready for sewing. You'll need your little clip. I don't need my scissors anymore because I'm done. And your ribbon pieces. Okay. We are going to, I'm going to do one uh, this way to show you how we're folding it so it's going to be backwards for me. And we're going to start with this side and we're going to go fold it over to where this side is perpendicular to this and to where the ends right here and here look pretty even. Okay, so we just have that one fold over like that. And at this point you can go ahead and take your clip and hold this if you need to, okay? It just gives you a little extra hold there. Now the next one we're going to do is we're going to take this side and we're going to fold it in half over to here, okay? So just fold it in half right there and hold that there, okay? So hold this piece now and we're going to take this and you could turn it actually. Let me turn it so that you can see what we're going to do. We're just going to take this piece and fold it down right here and let the sides meet right there. Okay, then you can take your clip and go ahead and hold the whole thing down. Okay, because we're going to go ahead and sew across here. Alright, so get your needle and your thread and start on one side and go all the way across to the other side. And then I'll show you once more with another petal. We're going to do six of these for this first round, for this first layer. And once we got the six on there at the end, we're going to cinch it and tie it, okay? All right, so we got one. Let me get my clip back now. 
Okay, I'm going to show you one more time on this and then I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of the six and get them all put on there and then I'll show you what we're going to do after that, okay? So first we're going to take this side and fold it down where this is perpendicular. It's going to be parallel with this one, okay? And then you want this and this to be pretty even. If it's not perfect, it's okay. Don't worry about it. And then take your clip and go ahead and hold that down. Then we're going to take this piece right here. We're going to take this and fold it in half. Okay. I'm touching those sides right there. And just hold that. And turn it. Take this piece and fold it down right here. And then take your clip and go ahead and hold the whole thing. And we're going to go ahead and sew this one to this. Now go ahead and do six. Um, make sure there's a total of six. So do four more of these. And when you have them all on there, then we're going to go ahead and tie it. Okay. I've got my six on my thread and so now we're going to start kind of gathering them so we have a little piece of the tail here and we're going to take these two sides put them together and go ahead and tie these two ends together and cinch it in a little bit and leave just a little tiny bit of space in there There we go. You don't need to like cinch it really far because if you do that, then it, they won't look right. So you can keep them a little bit of space there, about the size of your pinky maybe or so. And then just tie it off a couple, couple good knots. We're going to do one more layer of six like this, and then we're going to do a layer of three. So we'll have two layers of six petals and one layer of three petals and then we're going to have our centerpiece. So go ahead and make another layer of six and then make a layer of three just like we made this one and then I'm going to go ahead and make mine too and we'll come back to work on the centerpiece. Okay. Okay, we are now on the very last layer that we need. And what we are going to do is we're going to do a center piece. This one is not, it does not have to be perfect. It's basically just a rough sort of roll. So don't worry about trying to get it perfect. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing we did with the other one, which is just fold them down a little bit so that these are, you know, pretty, even right there and then do our half fold again but this time we're also going to fold this in half again okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to roll it along the side of this like this until we reach the other side so that now we have this nice curled little center and just kind of bunch that bottom part together, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our needle and thread and go ahead and start packing this together. So you'll want to keep a good hold on it and just put lots of stitches through it, back and forth, and through the sides and across, just to make sure that's stitched pretty good, okay? So go ahead and just throw some stitches through there just to make sure it'll hold. And this is going to be our center, our center piece. Okay. All right, once you get that done, then go ahead and tie it off. So go ahead and knot, put a little knot at the end here. Okay, now that we have our center, let's make our last layer. And this one will be just the same as the other one, a layer of three. So go ahead and make one more layer of three. 
just like you did all the other ones. Just sew this through. Okay, so we have two layers of six and we have two layers of three and then we have our little center piece. So make sure you have all those layers and then we're going to go ahead and start gluing them together. Okay, so we got this last one. We're going to do the same thing we did with the other ones. Just go ahead and tie this off at the end. And actually when I do this, I want to make sure that the shiny sides are in. And this one you'll do a little bit tighter, but not too tight because you have to leave just enough room for this to go down through. Okay, so still leave a little bit of a hole there. Okay, but make sure it's a nice little tight fit, but not too tight that you can't get it through there. Okay. That way it's going to come up into a more rounded circle and that way when you put your other pieces on they'll come up to into a nice little rounded flower. Okay, so that's the only thing that's different about this last layer is that you're going to cinch it up just a little bit more than you did the other ones. Okay, and then we're going to cut that off. Now we need our glue gun and we need all of our layers here. Okay, so remember we have two layers of six, one layer of three, and another layer of three that's more cinched so it gives it a bowl sort of effect, and then our center. Now we're going to start gluing things. So go ahead and take this center piece and go ahead and stick it down through the hole on this top piece. And it might be a little bit of a tight squeeze, but that's okay and pull it through like this and this first layer we're going to go ahead and sew it on because it's hard to get glue down in there and you don't want the glue gun touching parts of this so this first layer we're going to go ahead and sew on so go ahead and get your needle threaded okay we have our needle threaded so go ahead and take your needle and where it's stuck down in the center make sure where you have the thread on this center piece and the thread on this that they are about in the same place or just a little bit under this one's thread should be just a touch under this one's and then pull these up and right where these threads are go ahead and go just to either on them or just a touch above them and start putting your needle through there several times so that it will be sewn on to your center okay so just go ahead and tack it through really good make sure it's not going to come off of there and then go ahead and tie that off okay now that we've got this center sewn through we have this little piece sticking out we're going to go ahead and trim that right there and then we're going to take our lighter and make sure that the ends are sealed. So seal those up. And now we're going to start gluing. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some glue right around here and stick it to our first layer of three. Make sure that these petals go in between these petals so you have this kind of layering effect like this. So go ahead and get your glue gun and put some glue right around here just like that and go ahead and stick it in the middle here and making sure those leaves are or petals are in the middle doesn't have to be absolutely perfect so don't worry about perfection all right and see how we're kind of these come up around the other petals so we have a nice little looking rose area. Now we're going to put our next one on. See how we had this one a little bit wider than this one? We're going to make sure this one's on the bottom, okay? And put this one, I mean, if you have them the same, it's okay and it doesn't matter, but I made this like this so that these wouldn't cinch too close together on the bottom. So we're going to take our next layer and we're going to go ahead and put glue around here. 
and then glue the next layer on. You want to go just a little bit above where your sewing lines are. And then go ahead and kind of situate these where they're kind of in between the other ones. Okay, so stick that down in there. And we got one more layer to put on. See, it's already looking really pretty like a rose. Okay, now we're going to do our last one. Going to go ahead and put... Oh, I'm kind of running out of glue, aren't I? Uh, what's going on? Okay, that was weird. Anyways, put some glue on there. And then stick your last one there and make sure where these ones here are that you put these ones in between them. There we go. And stick that down in there to make sure it curves up around with the rest of the flower. Okay, so now we have this really beautiful little rose. And now we're going to go ahead and be able to put on our backing. Okay, so just kind of situate them where you want them. Make sure the glue's nice and cooled down and everything. So there we go. That's our rose. Now we're going to go ahead and do the backing. Okay, get your two felt pieces out and get your little French clip. I like to use the French clip because these stay on better because they're a little bit of a heavier bow. So the French clip lets them stay on there good. So go ahead and take your French clip apart so that you can have it free to glue it. So with these felt circles, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put them together like this and we need a circle that's about this big right here to put on there and um, I'm going to go ahead and cut us a, some circles, two circles and you can just kind of eyeball it, it doesn't have to be perfect let's see, these might be a little too big no, that seems to be about right. Okay, so that one will be good. Um, since this is a smaller clip, I'm going to go ahead and make a much smaller circle because we're going to put it over the center here. So let me cut this one down. If you're using a um, headband, you can keep it the same size uh, because your headband will go across here and then you'll put it on there. So this should about fit right there now. Okay, yeah, that'll be good. Might just trim just a touch more off of here, just a touch. Okay, so now we have our big circle and we have a little circle. Since I'm using this smaller French clip, if you use the bigger French clip, you could probably keep them the same size. So, and I'm I'm actually going to go ahead and trim this one down just a touch too, because it'll be easier to glue on. Okay, now what we're going to do is take your glue gun. Let me get another glue stick real quick. <coughs> Have it ready. Okay, now what you're going to do is go ahead and put glue all along this felt circle. And stick it to the back over the center here to cover the messy part. Make sure you take your little glue stringies off and make sure the if the ends aren't all the way tacked down, go ahead and go through and put a couple drops of glue and tack them down. And this will cover the bottom side so it looks really nice. So you won't be able to see those raw edges. There, I think that's good. Yeah, that's good. Okay, now that we've got this one on, Whatever backing you're going to use, go ahead and put your glue on it and stick it in here like that. And then we're going to take our last little felt circle and we're going to glue it right over the center like this. And then we'll put our French clip back together. So put some glue on your little circle and put it over there, tack it down really good, and 
and check the ends to make sure they're all tacked down. Add a couple drops of glue here and there if you need to. Make sure that's fully tacked down so that'll hold that on there. Okay, I well, think that should work. All right, now we've got that covered and we're gonna go ahead and put it back together. If you're using a French clip, if you're using an alligator clip, you won't have anything to put back together. <laughs> so there we go. Now we've got our French clip on there. And now you have a beautiful rose hair bow. Very good job. So if you would like to subscribe to my channel to watch more uh, videos as I get them made and uploaded, that would be great. Uh, leave any comments or questions in the bottom space there. And uh, let me know if you have any particular styles of Kanzashi bows that you would like to learn. And I'll go ahead and try to make a video of those in the English version too. Thank you for joining me today.